Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. The whole media has been keeping up with the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard domestic abuse case. Everyone has been on the edge of their seats with every video of the court hearing that comes out. Johnny Depp has all the support right now from his family and his friends. Speaking of family, Johnny's daughter Lily didn't attend her dad's wedding. Let's have a look at why Lily Rose Depp skipped Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's wedding. Number 5. Johnny and Lori Ann Allison Before Johnny Depp got married to Amber Heard, he'd been married and divorced by his ex-wife, Lori Ann Allison. Lori Ann was five years Johnny's senior and was a makeup artist. She was also the sister of a bassist in Johnny Depp's band, The Kids, in the 1980s. Both of them got married in 1983 and moved to California. Lori Ann introduced Johnny Depp to Nicolas Cage, who persuaded Johnny to pursue a career in acting. He was reportedly also the one who got Johnny an audition for the film The Nightmare on Elm Street, which was Johnny Depp's big break. Johnny Depp said, Nick Cage said, you should try being an actor. Maybe you're the one and you don't know it. I began acting and I thought, well, this is an interesting road. Maybe I should keep traveling on it. I got the job. I was stupefied. They paid me all that money for a week. It was luck, an accident. I did it purely to pay the rent. I was literally filling out job applications at the same time. Any kind of job. Number 4. What happened between Johnny and Lori Ann? Unfortunately, Johnny Depp's and Lori Ann Allison's marriage couldn't last. Johnny Depp was only 20 at the time when he got married. His career in acting was still uncertain and unstable. That led to their marriage losing its spark and Johnny Depp filed for a divorce in 1985. After his divorce, Johnny Depp dated several other stars. His connection with Winona Ryder was the most different. Johnny and Winona got engaged but broke up before they got married. They still speak very fondly of each other. Johnny Depp said, I'm being really honest with you when I say that there's been nothing ever throughout my 27 years that's comparable to the feeling I have with Winona. It's like this weird bonding atom or something. You can think something is the real thing, but it's different when you feel it. The truth is very powerful. Now I know. Believe me, this Winona Forever tattoo is not something I took lightly. Her eyes kill me. Number 3. When did Johnny and Amber meet? During the ongoing defamation trial against Amber Heard, Johnny revealed that he met and fell in love with Amber Heard in 2009, when they were both filming The Rum Diary, but they were both in relationships with other people. After they broke up with their significant others, Amber and Johnny started dating in late 2011. They dated for about three years. After their dating period, the couple tied the knot in February 2015. They had a small, intimate celebration of about 20 to 25 people. The ceremony was held on Johnny's Island in the Bahamas. According to Johnny, Amber and her friends also partook in drugs at their reception. Johnny's drug of choice was marijuana. They both separated in 2016 when Amber Heard filed domestic violence and a restraining order against Johnny Depp. Number 2. Why Lily Rose Skipped the Wedding Johnny Depp testified that his daughter Lily Rose Depp from his ex Vanessa Paradis skipped the wedding of Johnny and Amber. The 22-year-old actress, according to Johnny, is not on good terms with his ex-wife. Johnny said, My daughter Lily Rose did not come to the wedding. She and Ms. Heard were not on particularly good terms for several reasons. But Lily Rose isn't the only one that had a problem with Amber Heard. Johnny Depp's 20-year-old son with his ex-wife Lori Ann Allison said that he did not agree with Johnny and Amber's wedding, and after their wedding, there was a spark of dispute between them as well. Number 1. Johnny Depp's Defamation Trial Against Amber Heard Johnny Depp said in his testimony in the defamation trial against his ex-wife Amber Heard that his goal is the truth. He further said, Since I knew there was no truth in it whatsoever, I felt it my responsibility to stand up not only for myself in that instance, but to stand up for my children, who at the time were 14 and 16. Johnny Depp is suing Amber Heard for a $50 million lawsuit in response to the article she wrote about surviving domestic violence for Washington Post. Though she didn't mention Johnny Depp by name, her attorney, Ben Rottenborn, said that she survived physical, emotional, verbal, as well as sexual violence at the hands of Johnny Depp. Ben Rottenborn said, Amber did suffer sexual violence at the hands of Depp. You will hear in the most graphic and horrifying terms about the violence she suffered. You'll hear that straight from her. She will get on the stand and she will tell you that. It happened. Johnny Depp revealed that the reason for staying in the marriage was that his father was also in an abusive marriage and he wanted to work it out. He said that Amber Heard was not the same as before and that she is now his opponent. We really hope that the truth prevails and Johnny Depp can get his normal life, his reputation, and his career back. 
This brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos.